And no ice, but plenty of rain across the Fox 10 viewing area. We're tracking wet weekend conditions with cooler temperatures ahead. Meteorologist Matt Barentine joining me in studio with the breakdown. Matt, the story here, uh, cold and wet. Yeah, thankfully it has been all that wet here this week and we had some light showers here this morning. Most of that kind of wrapped up and we're not looking too bad for tomorrow either. Really our biggest uh, focus now is going to be on what happens Monday and we talk about icing. There's going to be some, uh, well, a very large ice storm that impacts the deep south. Talk more about that in a minute. First off right now where we're at, we're cold. <laughs> I mean, anywhere east of 65, west of 65 right now is in the 30, so it's chilly. Then going east of 65 temperatures are in the forest so cold night out there here for us there's the rain that's the good news it we had high rain chances for today then we got up this morning and most of the rain had already moved on through we had some overnight rain it pushed on through and it stayed pretty much east of us here throughout the day so we got lucky today and actually turned out not to be too bad of a day although yes a cold one a gray one but not too bad tomorrow of course is valentine's day as you wake up tomorrow morning it's going to be chilly temperatures down at around 40 here as we wake up on our Sunday morning and likely just being gray. Once again, the rain chances stay at about 20% for your Sunday, so not a big deal. It's a cold start, chilly, cloudy day for us tomorrow. Monday, we get the cold rain moving in, and this is not something they often have to put up on the graphics. Icy bridges and overpasses. We go from Monday night on a Tuesday morning. There is a chance we could see some icing happening in parts of our area. We're going to get deeply into that here in a few minutes, and then we go into Fat Tuesday. We're going to have a bitter cold start today. Check this out. Pretty incredible stuff. A winter storm warning. Basically all of Texas, all of Oklahoma, all of Arkansas, most of Mississippi, most of Louisiana. Obviously a major storm setting itself up. We'll talk about that coming up in just a few minutes. 